Surgeons developed the first spinal cord stimulators in the 1960s to treat severe forms of chronic pain. For decades, the devices were considered a last resort after pain medication and other options. But in the last decade, companies have ramped up promotion of new devices to treat back pain, nerve pain, and other common ailments. Analysts estimate 60,000 U.S. patients now receive a spinal stimulator implant each year. The devices consist of a pacemaker-like generator, extension wires, and leads that attach to the spinal cord. The generator is surgically implanted in the patient's lower back, where the wires send low levels of electricity to strategic points along the spinal column. Patients can control the device's settings with a handheld remote that resembles a smartphone. While scientists don't understand exactly how spinal simulation relieves pain, most experts agree that the electrical current disrupts pain signals before they reach the brain, helping mask pain. The level of pain relief differs for each patient, but physicians generally consider spinal stimulation successful if the patient reports at least a 50% reduction in pain. Spinal cord stimulators are not without risk. Frequently reported complications include infection, shock, burns, and various degrees of spinal cord nerve damage that can result in injuries ranging from muscle weakness to paralysis of the legs.